Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Boundary. Today's reading is a spirit guide reading to see what's currently happening, what spirit wants you to know about, how spirit can assist you, what to let go of, what your opportunity for growth is, what the overall energy is, and a possible outcome based on the current energy. Today is December 31st, so I wish you all a very safe and happy last year of 2021. 2021 was about a lot of changes, the number 5221, we're moving from a lot of changes, a lot of chaos into a place of peace, a place of harmony, where many of you will hopefully make decisions moving towards a peaceful new year for yourself. So I wish you safety and I, I bless you and send you a lot of love and light and warm fuzzy hugs. Okay, so let's dive in. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come near. Please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. All right, let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. So what is currently happening that Spirit would like you to know about? We have the moon. So the moon is about subconscious. It's about connecting. Um, I'm feeling here, Pisces, in this particular moon card, we have the wisdom overlooking the path. Or I stand corrected, the owl. The owl is overlooking the journey, making sure you have a balance between light and dark. So, And we also see the crows here. The crows can be um, mystical, so enabling your mystical abilities, your subconscious to guide you in a court, in parallel with your journey and your knowledge that you have from your 3D reality in parallel with your spiritual 5D reality as well so this is you know what's happening is having that wisdom to enable you to continue on your journey the moon card can also indicate that not everything is revealed to you that some things are are behind the veil the moon card also speaks about emotions and having an undercurrent of emotions so we'll get clarification in a moment for that what how can what does spirit want you to know about this we have the justice so things that have been done in in silence or behind the veil or things that have been kept from you are going to come to light the truth is going to be revealed here with this justice card we do see that we have the justice and there's beauty out of darkness there is going to be beauty that comes there's going to be connectedness there's going to be new growth a, a cleansing out the truth is going to come forward and cleanse out a situation in your life as well um spirit is also indicating here with the justice card that there is divine timing and um karmic correction at play as well you won't necessarily see um, the karma being dealt out to people who have um, kept things hidden from you. But please do know, Pisces, that spirit is very much addressing the issues. Um, when, when spirit adjusts karma, whether positive or negatively, on your behalf towards somebody else, you are not always privy or um, it's not something for you to always know about. So just keep that in mind, please. And then how can spirit assist you? This is the Ten of Pentacles, bringing you to a new place of solidity um, and groundedness. The Ten of Pentacles speaks about, you have really done the work. You know, we start off with the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new opportunity, the seeds of something new, something tangible, and you make the decisions and you work and you put in the work in the 3D actual physicality of the work. And here we see that karmic corrections are going to come into tangible 3d reality here so what is spirit advising you to let go of pisces the fool so i'm hearing unencumber yourself pisces whatever situation might be weighing you down this is a time to release your burdens and to move forward unencumbered a new sense of lightness, a new sense of being able to breathe, breathe easier. Um, but here, what to let go of is, you know, 
the need to know all the details, but instead taking that leap of faith, letting go and letting God, knowing that there's going to be divine correction, divine guidance, and divine assistance on your path as you go forward. Let me move this over, have the new setup. So I'm trying to um, get the cards so you can see them. Thank you guys so much for your patience. You guys are like the best ever. Okay, so what is your opportunity for growth, Pisces? We have the Three of Swords. Now, you've, you've really been through it. Let's not even try to pretend we're not going to sugarcoat it. You have been through, some of you have really been through unsurmountable pain and loss. And it has not just been once or twice, but a continual cycle of pain and loss that has really put you in a place of perhaps even despair. And this is... It's, it's interesting that we're having the dynamic of what to let go of. It, um, unburdening yourself from the past pain, the past sorrow, the past swords in your heart um, and releasing that. So your opportunity for growth is, comes in the purging of pain, the release, the letting go and letting God and knowing that even though you do not see everything behind the veil, you do not see all the karmic adjustments being made in your human mind. You say, why is there not justice in your human mind? You say, why has this person been able to behave this way without any type of accountability? But just please do keep in mind that everything is working according to divine plan and according to um, a balance of energy. So let's go, what is the overall energy right now? King of Cups, emotional mastery. Now this is directly in alignment with what this message is saying, Pisces. Releasing the heartache and pain and coming into this place of emotional mastery. King of Cups, masculine energy of water, but having mastered, having mastered the emotions, having mastered the heartache and pain, having mastered the unknowing, having mastered the ability to operate in an energy of ambiguity and still keep your chill, right? Still continue to have that faith, tapping into your subconscious and really knowing that it's okay for you to let go because divine is holding you. They are holding you, comforting you, and protecting you. And then the possible outcome based on this energy, Pisces, King of Wands. This is power. This is you knowing what you want and going after. The King of Wands is also masculine fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this is about really being in your seat of power. As you have had emotional mastery, it has enabled you to quiet the noise, to quiet the distractions, to release the heartache and pain, and even see it from a higher perspective, recognizing that you are not the one to seek retribution for the pain and sorrow that other people have dealt to you or that you have experienced in your life. Retribution and judgment are a job for divine, not for Pisces, not for humans. And here, as you have that emotional mastery, that connectedness here, we it's interesting because above the King of Cups head, it appears as though it's a lotus, but in the center of the lotus is a heart. We think of the lotus coming up through the muck, coming up through the mire of the swamp. How much, how poetically does that match a Pisces journey? coming up through the muck, coming up through the mire, but still finding your heart space, being emotional, having emotional mastery. And we look here at the flying fish. As a Pisces, you obviously are a fish, but you are, you are not just any fish. You are a Pisces. You are a fish with wings, one that is able to not be held down by the weight, but to be able to fly, to be able to reach new heights and find new joy as we see with the dolphin here. So we see the possible outcome is having control of your passions, being the authority of your life. For some of you, this could indicate a fire sign coming in or I, I'm feeling as though this could be an element of support or you harnessing your power. We're going to go into clarification for this message now. 
So let me make sure we can see all these cards. Okay, they're on here. All right, so Pisces, let's now get clarification for this message. What, is Pi what does Pisces need to know about this moon for what is currently happening, Spirit? What is this moon for what is currently happening? What is this moon for what is currently happening, please? Thank you. Okay, Pisces, grab onto your seat. Hold on. These cards that just came out, this is twin flame energy. This is a true match. This is something that may very well be pulling on your emotions. This is something you may not see coming. This is, for those of you who are in a connection, this is continuing down your current connection path in a higher connection, building upon your connection, having a, a new sense of emotional connectedness and energy. I'm going to get clarification for you. So the lover's card is Gemini energy, but that's more just, I don't feel as though for some of you, it could represent a Gemini in your energy, but I'm feeling more, it's just the emotional choices you're making going forward. But this, I mean, this is love. This is love. Anyway, so let's see what this lover's card is. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this lover's card? What is this lover's for Pisces, please? Okay. And we have the seven of cups. You know, I, this is definitely with the moon and the seven of cups. This is something that you may not be seeing, Pisces. You may definitely not be seeing um, this new thing coming into your life, this new blessing, this new opportunity. The, if we dial it back for just a second, the moon speaks about not really seeing things as they are because it's cast in shadows. There's darkness around it. When we think about the moon, without the sun, you would not be able to see the moon. The reason that you are able to see the moon in the sky is because of the sun shining upon it. So the sun is clarity. The sun is truth. The sun can be a new relationship or good news. The sun is illuminating. So this something is being going to be illuminated that you don't see now regarding options or choices that you have in your life that you'll be ultimately making a choice out of what you don't see at the present time. So for some of you, this could be love. For others of you, please take this as um, an indicator that there's something around you that you don't necessarily see or realize that you're going to be having a choice in. And here, Pisces, we do see that as you have a lot of options, you'll have a choice. This is a divinely guided, divinely orchestrated thing that's coming forward to you. This is a spirit guide reading. So spirit is overlooking your decisions and the options coming forward towards you. And you may not be aware. Thank you, spirit. You may not be aware of the importance of this when it shows up in your life as a choice because there's things that are not revealed about it, but it's it's an impactful choice. So let's see what this Two of Cups is. What is this Two of Cups for Pisces? What is this Two of Cups for Pisces, please? Thank you. Whoa, that just went up way over there. And we have the Knight of Wands. So this is an, a choice to take action and about determination. So the Knight of Wands here, it can be in and out energy, but I'm feeling... Let's get one more card just to, you know, have a little more certainty. What is this Two of Cups, please, Spirit? What else do we need to know about this Two of Cups? Yeah, so you're not going to see this, Pisces. There's a change that is approaching, um, and the choices you make are going to facilitate this change, but you, you are not being shown the reasoning or the purpose behind what is coming. But Spirit in this reading is giving you a heads up that there is a choice on the horizon here, something in the works that you will need to make a decision about. Um, and it's divinely guided and orchestrated. So let's go on to this justice card for what Spirit wants you to know about this. Because obviously, you know, this is this is going to be impactful um, to you in, in a in a way that's particularly relevant to your soul's journey and a new path 
that is a departure from the emotional experiences you've had previously. So what is this justice card for what Spirit wants you to know? Spirit, what is this justice card? Here comes the sun, not even joking. What have we said? The moon. You only see the moon because of the sun. Divine is coming in to bring clarity. Wherever there were things hidden, lies, deception, or where your path was not revealed, where a choice was not shown to you, divine is telling you they want you to know that they see, divine sees what has been going on, and not only do they see, they are balancing, they are correcting it, they are bringing you to a place of newness, a place of cleansing, but they're also going to be revealing to you what has been brewing, so to speak. So let's look at this Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, what is this Ten of Pentacles for how you will assist Pisces in this? What is this Ten of Pentacles for how you will be assisting Pisces in this? Okay, we have quite a few cards here, so let's see what's going on. So for this Ten of Pentacles, Pisces, we start off, it's a divine mix. You know, it's like you say something and then Spirit's like, you got it, baby, right? So this is a divine orchestration. Um, you have not been able to see all the details about it because there's been a coming together. Had you known, had you known the end point, you may not have made the free will choices. The fool card is also speaking about free will. It's letting go of your need to control outcomes and allowing your free will to guide you on your soul's journey. So this is definitely spirit can assist you in the divine orchestration, the coming together. The temperance card is also Sagittarius energy. Justice is Libra. Sun is Leo. Moon, of course, Pisces. And then we have the Hierophant. Hierophant is an organization, belief structure. Um, so how spirit can assist you is bringing things together in a new structure. This is stirring the pot. This is like having all the ingredients and just throwing them in there and mixing them up. You're making a new substance here and we have the King of Wands, King of Wands twice. This is, this is really Pisces. Spirit is going to assist you in, in making a new output with similar ingredients. So what we're seeing here you're going to have something very beautiful. Spirit is going to assist you in having this Ten of Pentacles. They're orchestrating either a connection, a foundation, a structure. It's coming together. There might be some um, harsh adjustments or changes or some type of breakthrough. For some of you, this could be a direction of leadership or a person. Um, take it as it fits your situation. But this is definitely a divine orchestration Um to kind of stir up what was and reorganize it, reorganize it in a new fashion. So when you have the King of Wands in this particular scenario, the King of Wands after the tower, the King of Wands is looking at the tower and all the broken bits. Like the tower comes in and throws everything kind of up in the air, reorganizes things. But here the King of Wands is looking at it, making an assessment and saying, no, we're going to restructure this into something very stable, very grounded, very secure. So however this is in your scenario, and you'll know when you start to have um, surprising choices to make around you. So what is this fool for what Pisces needs to let go of, please, Spirit? What is this fool for what Pisces needs to let go of, please? Okay, this is, okay, Spirit says no. Nope. So hold on. So we do have the Knight of Wands directly here. So I'm just going to put that there, but I'm going to ask Spirit to be more clear here. Spirit, what is this full card for Pisces? What Pisces needs to let go of? So I'm hearing control here with this Knight of Wands. Let me put it here so you guys can see it. I'm trying to get my... Okay. So here for this Knight of Wands, this is the... Um... The Knights are about action and the Knight of Wands can be very determined, right? This is about releasing your determination. This does not mean being weak, settling, um, accepting. That's not what I'm trying to say, but it's like normally the Knight of Wands can be, you know, very action oriented, but this is, you know, being more free, releasing um, the need to control and allowing yourself to be unencumbered by control. What else does Pisces need to know about this fool card for what to let go of, please? What else does Pisces need to know about this fool card for what to let go of? 
because you're going to have choices that are presented to you. Um, and here, okay, Spirit wants me to clarify these, so let me get the clarification for these. Spirit, what is this Knight of Wands for Pisces? What is this Knight of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. As you release your grip, it's going to enable you to go into a new emotional, a new level of emotional contentment. You're going to have new options come to you that you don't see because you're not looking in that direction. You think the options you have are what is before you. You may be thinking this is what you have. This is what you're going to do. This is your path forward, but it's masked by something that you do not see. What is this Four of Cups for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Four of Cups? Letting go of what you think it's going to be. Thank you, Spirit. Letting go of what you think it is because it's going to come in com quite differently. It's um, new opportunities, new things are going to come in in a way that is quite unexpected. So here, if you're close to it, if you're determined to have it come in a certain way, you're going to not be open to it. Um, so what is this Four of Cups, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this Four of Cups? Thank you. Yeah, so here we have the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, it could be work. But this is going to be a new thing for you to focus on. This is also about where your focus is. So here, releasing your construct of what you think your options are and releasing your construct of how you think things are going to come into your life, how it's going to show up. Um, spirit is wanting to say, you, you may be so focused, you may be so focused on what it is you think it's going to be that you may not be seeing um, what, is, what is coming in. And what is coming in here? Ace of Cups, a new blessing, answered prayers, divine blessings, a new emotional beginning. So Spirit is asking you to be able to, I'm hearing, look up, right? So here, instead of just focusing only on how you think it's going to pan out, you know, what you think your options are, and allow yourself to um, have... This is representing myopia. So instead of being just focused and fixed and having tunnel vision on, based on how you think it's going to be, how it should be, how it's going to unfold, allow yourself to be open to possibilities. What is this Three of Swords for Pisces opportunity for growth here? What is this Three of Swords for Pisces opportunity for growth here, please, Spirit? Thank you. So, and I'm trying to, I this is a sidebar tangent, but I'm trying, I'm going to try to, higher my desk or raise my desk up so when we're doing the videos you can see the water you can see a wee bit of the water there but um i'm i'm in fort lauderdale now and this is new river if you're familiar with that so i'm even though i know we dearly miss the biscayne bay um which was that beautiful water we had but we make changes in life but at least we have some water so i'm going to try to incorporate the water but it's, everything's taking a little bit of time so let's go on so here for this Three of Swords, look at this Pisces. Just these cards are so beautiful. I just I just need to say Pisces, Spirit has you. Spirit has your back right now. They see, they see how the divine child has been hurt. So let's go. All right, so here, the first thing is this, this heartache, this pain, remember how we said before, this is about releasing the pain, being unencumbered, you know, having that freedom. Baby, baby, hey, hey, sorry. I'm just kidding, it feels so good, right? So here, remember how we just said, there's a blessing, answered prayer, there's a new emotional beginning, and look at these cards. I mean, some of you do read tarot, some of you don't, but closing the chapter on the Three of Swords, on the heartache, pain, loss, a new blessing is coming in. Be mindful of your own your ability to see new options and things that are coming into you. That's, I mean, that's literally, you can't even get more direct than that in the cards. So, I mean, I could, I guess you could if they, it was written out in words. But anyway, let's carry on. So here, what we're seeing is this chapter is closing out of this heartache and pain. And this is your opportunity for growth is to assimilate 
the lessons and allow, allow that chapter to come to the close, but also recognizing how it has served your soul's journey and try not to be grumpy about it. Be like, well, I didn't need that to serve my soul's journey, right? I mean, this is really just coming to a place of peace and closure. And as you do that, your new blessings and a new level of peace and a cleansing is going to come over your life. And again, this is what you don't see. There's there's things coming in Pisces that you you would not even imagine. So here we have you you would not even see it. But there's divine divine is hardcore at work in your life to bring truth, to bring light and cleansing to your life and situations. Wherever you may have been stuck or unable to affect change, divine is stepping in and be like, I got you. I got you, Pisces. We're good. We're good. Okay. But it's also up to you to allow divine to work in your life and to release that ego, release the pride, release the um, prescribed methods or ways you think it's going to come in. I know I keep repeating that, but it's, it's going to be important. So here we have the justice card directly under the justice card, the sun over the two of swords so this is about coming out of the darkness having balance where you were not able to move forward there's going to be a moving forward here but overall the opportunity for growth is to close out the past chapter and move into a new blessing here so what is this king of cups for the overall energy for pisces please spirit what is this king of cups for the overall energy here please spirit Thank you. Four of Wands. Something is coming in that you are going... Sorry, I didn't mean to bump it. So, something is coming in that you are you have wanted for a while. It could be a commitment. It could be Twin Flame here. Um, the Twin Flame card, 11, 11, 4. And we have the Lovers and the Two of Cups. For some of you, it could be that. But for others of you, it's about foundation. It's about a blessing coming into your life as you are arriving at a place of emotional mastery new levels of emotional mastery there's these new blessings coming into your life that you're going to have joy and celebration and for some of you it might even be a sense of community about so that's the overall energy it's a very beautiful very happy and harmonious very solid and stable energy so what is this king of wands for the possible outcome please spirit I just heard marriage, so for some of you, it might in fact be marriage. And here we have the King of Cups, I mean, seriously, Pisces. For some of you, you might have a fire sign that you might be in partnership with. But this is really balancing emotions and your passions and your drive and moving you to a place of power. As you come into emotional mastery, you're redirecting your energy into action and going after it's like having gusto where if you did not have emotional mastery you might be a little bit reactive emotionally here emotionally there but when you are in the sea of king of cups you know exactly how you feel deep down you might not show it on the surface and this could even be somebody around you but i'm feeling more this is speaking to you and your inner workings versus what you're showing on the surface. You're harnessing your emotions. And as you, you do that, it's enabling you to direct them into power. So let's get one card for the overall message of this reading. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. Hey baby, how powerful are you? So this is this is literally as you know speaking about your own power, Pisces, but also about being balanced in your 3D world and in your 5D world, in your spiritual connection, but also in the tangible reality. But also one thing, as you may know or may not know, the King of Wands can be egoic, can be narcissistic, can be a little bit um, one-sided to this is how things are going to go. And this is what Spirit would like to say is, Pisces, you are very powerful and there's some very powerful 
um, energy coming forward as a result of the work you have been doing. Um, and there's some, some very beautiful manifestations coming for you. But it's also going to be up to you to let go of a preconceived notion of what it will be, what people should do, how things should unfold. Because it's going, it may, like, if you were to look back in hindsight, you may be shocked at how things actually unfolded. But please always know, things unfold according to divine will and divine timing. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces for this reading, and we'll close it out. One oracle for Pisces for this reading, then we'll close it out, please. Thank you. Oops, oops. All right, guys. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. Earlier in this message, we said spirit is holding you. You are wrapped and embraced in divine arms. You have protection. You have guidance. They are work, divine is working on your behalf to cleanse out the things of the past, to bring truth and light and beauty into your life. And they are asking you to please, especially in the particular areas of your life where you feel as though you need to push or control or you feel as though you have to, uh, right? Like, uh, get it, right? Or do something. Like, I need to do something. Spirit is asking Pisces within those areas where you feel that way, find rest. Retreat from the need to control. Retreat from the need to have things be in a certain way, unfold in a certain way, have people behave in a certain way, or have a particular outcome. Divine is working on your behalf. Things are unfolding. It's difficult sometimes when you don't see things happening. In time, you're going to have things revealed to you and you'll see how things have been coming together. Right now is a time of retreating from a need to control or mold or shape or force. Use that energy instead to find rest and peace within yourself and focus on the fact that you are in the arms of divine and they are holding you, working on your behalf and really balancing things for your soul's journey. This is what I have for you, Pisces. God bless.